sure. Gee, you know an awful lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional magician, are you? No, not a magician. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are we doing? So tell me about your My challenge. Problem. Not the problem. Okay. They never problems. They're always challenge. The challenge. Um, okay. I want to send an email from Flo that sends a daily update. And I'm going to send something about a contact, but also related accounts. So my specific one was I had a subscription and that belongs to a specific member and they belong to a club. And these are all related records. So when I spit out the email, instead of getting the contact's name or the club name, I get a good. Um, so I managed to work it out where I used to get records, um, but I know that's not the proper way to do it. So let's see um, how we can do it. So we start an instant flow, right? So from uh, just a manual. Mm -hmm. We can do it on a record if we want to, but let's say for simplicity list all the records and we say contacts yeah right and uh, um, i'd like to rename that and say contacts mm -hmm. and then what you have done is basically for each contact let's simplify it let's say you want to get an account name and let's say a phone number uh, from the account and maybe a website address yeah. from the account right yeah so Perfect. so what you have done something like uh, get me a record get me a record please get me a record oh, uh -huh. oh, 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 oh. interesting that's interesting yeah i'll remember that and here what you would say is it would be parent the uh, company. company name yeah. value right so that would be looping. rename parent account parent account yeah yeah parent account and then let's do a simple when i i don't want to send the email so what i will sure. do i will do a compose it's kind of building the body of the email right just so we can so see I'm what's saying, going yeah, yeah 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 so i'll say contact we'll put uh, full name full name and uh, we put uh, account name yeah account name and uh, remember we website? also wanted uh, the website from um, the account from the account yeah and not from the contact from the account so that's what we want so i think we just going ahead and run it just to to make sure it all works flow checker now that's interesting flow checker starts issuing a warning because we didn't filter our contact yeah. we say give us everything right and for now we just ignore i know look this is not super duper busy this is all context this is just sample we can um, afford but, it. yeah and i'll perform save and go probably should have renamed it but fair enough buttons contacts apply to each parent account compose that's a good name for i flow. think it's a great name they did a okay. good job so we started and we go in ahead and it takes five, six, and it's going to take a few seconds. And one of the things we can talk in the future, oh, I failed. Anyway, well, one of the things is how to run things in parallel, make it a little bit faster, but uh, that's not now. But next failed, I bet. Is it with blank? Uh, blank, yeah, we didn't filter, fine. Whatever, we, we're not fast, right? So we could have added condition. Let's see um, what uh, non-failed records uh, tell us. Okay, so Beautiful. we've got Patrick, Alpine Ski House, Alpine Ski House, all great. Number one, first record, Yvonne, fourth coffee, fourthcoffee.com. Great. Um, the challenge begins, I had another one. You had to step up from the parent account to another relationship, get record, get record, and sort of it's it's getting cumbersome. There's a lot of get records. Today's trick of trade is to use expand. You probably heard of it before, right? <laughs> yeah, you... something along those lines. Yeah, I heard of it and went, I don't know what that is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and let's go for advanced options. Today, we're not going to talk about anything else. 
but expand. So expand basically allows me to specify, hey, look, I need information from a related record. Great. Okay. Right. So the one thing we need to do is to get the relationship right. So here I use the great XRM toolbox. I could have specified just the attribute to expand. I could have said, hey, look, parent account. The problem here is that it could be account, could be contact. It's the customer. So there are two relationships in one. Yeah. So here we need to know the exact name of the relationship we're going down to. Right. So I open, go for the entity, uh, go for the menu to one relationships. And here's the two relationships, contact customer accounts, cost, contact customer contacts. So depending on which one it is, it's one or another, right? So I'll drill into relationship and that's this one. Parent Simple. customer account. Do I sense some irony in your voice? I'm sure oh, you, ha you have a better, you know what? I'll give you, you told me that you've got better way and I went ahead, I installed your favorite extension my favorite uh, extension, the Magic Rocket, also known magic as Level Rocket. Up. Okay, you want to take control, or I trust you. See, okay. uh, or you, uh, you, you want to walk me through? I'll teach you. You need to learn. It's okay. So I'll open the contact. Okay. Open the contact. Any yep. contact. Uh, Yvonne. Any contact. Yvonne was yes. Yvonne. And then and we're going to fire up the Magic Rocket. So we're going to so see. So this is the field, right? Company and, name for coffee. That's what that's, we want. This is the problem, right? When I go browse, could be accounts, could be contacts, could be accounts, could be contacts. That's the problem, right? And, and normally, saying, if we uh, spit that out, it comes out as a GUID. It's disgusting. Yeah, that's the magic rocket. So we're going to click on the magic rocket and all fields. All fields. Kaboom. Here we go. So let's have a look and find fourth coffee. Here we go. I see you now. This you one. Seen that? So there's three fields for it behind it, but if you use that one, that's exactly the one you need to use. Actually, that gives me an idea. You can actually use that and build it dynamically, but we're not going to do that. So we'll just go ahead and we'll put it here. We'll say an expand query. I'm just going to head, you know, and expand everything. I'm saying, give me everything from the account. So Great. what it gives me ability to do is to get here can delete this one. I don't need it. Right. So one thing I really like to do first is to give it a test run and to see what's coming back. Mm -hmm. I need to dive into into the details. Right. So I really want to see what's coming back. Actually, I already can see what's coming back. Yowza. Right. Okay. That's, yeah. That's nice. But I've got Jason view. We ask for insane amount of data. Here's all the data about the contact, blah, 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 blah. And here's the parent customer account ID. So you see all the data is keeps coming back. So we've got number of employees. Where's the website? Where's the website? Where's the and that's website? just from the list records action. Yeah, I just had it as I expand that. So it gave me everything on the, on the account. So it will have the name. Um, it will have, uh, you know, number of employees. It's got revenue. everything. It's They'll got everything. It. So I'm not filtering it for now. Um, but uh, where's the website? There in the middle. Website URL. Five oh. up from the bottom. Here you go. So website URL. And so we'll go to value. We go to the flow. Go edit. What we can do now. So the account will be an item, okay, which is uh, a single element. Mm -hmm. Then within that item, we're going to get parent account ID, website URL, slash website URL. Okay. And that's one. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let me swap. Let me say this is the website mm -hmm. and this is uh, account. This one is going to be Again, an item. Mm -hmm. This is the current item, the value. So that's our current value. And yes. it's a name. Yeah. And just go ahead and test it. I want to do a drum roll. 
<laughs> that was quick. Yikes. And that's say compose. Here we go. Ta da! Oh, that is cool. That's it. Look, uh, thank, you. thank you for showing, uh, yeah, the level up. It's certainly gone a long way since last time I used it. And definitely, it looks like it's a bit simpler to find stuff than, oh God, yeah. than a metadata browser. But so. No, thank you for teaching me this. I think I've just saved myself approximately a thousand API calls. I completely forgot about this. I, as a developer, I should be aware of that. Uh -huh. and should take into consideration when I do stuff, when I write stuff, but often it escapes me. And yes, it does save you uh, API calls. So if you loop and say through a thousand contacts, you just saved yourself 2000 API calls because yeah. you can actually drill further into relationships, but that's for the next time. That's for next time. I'm excited. Il mio cor. Don't forget ta 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 ta. I get nervous, I get nervous. Please, let's come back.